what the motor threshold number allows us to do is to come up with the exact uh, exact percentage that we want to treat. I found it at 55, right? But at this point, that just means I found the exact location uh, per motor cortex. What I'm now focusing on is not moving the coil mm -hmm. because I found that spot. So now I'm just going down until I don't see it anymore. And I still see that on her fingers. So I'm going to keep going down just by one each time. At 42, I didn't see it. At 43, I did. So we're going to set her motor threshold at 43. Now that we have her motor threshold, we can start her treatment. We have this line. It's We try to center it with her nose. It's centered. If I look on this side, um, the middle part is touching her forehead. I can still adjust. Is it heavy? No? Okay. So um, then we would start treatment and we would set it at the intensity that we would want. We found her motor threshold at 43. We know that we're only stimulating one location. Um, so there's a little math equation that we already have in place um, to treat her at the correct intensity. So for her, the maximum intensity that we would treat her would be 34%. Because today is essentially her first day of treatment, we are only treating at half of that. So I would come up here and do 17 on our screen. I would confirm and then it would start. So you hear the bell. Then I would ask her to close her eyes for five seconds. And now she gets a break. So she gets to open her eyes if she wants to. And then we would just hear the bell again and it would just do that for the rest of the session.